Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the month of February 2022 for the sign of Cancer. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Cancer, then you can keep watching this video. February is going to be a month of major transformation. I mean, it's the same as December and January. These are kind of intense months where we have to face our shadow side on a global level, but also on a personal level, okay? Because when it involves Pluto and a lot of planets, we kind of need to face what is hidden, what is dark, and what is necessary to bring to the surface so we can transform it into light, into knowledge, right? And uh, I'm a very Plutonic personality. I have Pluto on my ascendant, so I know <laughs> I know what it can bring, what tough lessons it can bring, right? Uh, but it also gives you really insane wisdom. Uh, but we start off the month straight away with a new moon in Aquarius. And um, for you, Aquarius is in your eighth house. So you have been having Saturn there for a while, right? Now we have the sun and the moon there. So make sure all your tax papers are in order. Uh, make sure to dive. I mean, some of you really are interested in the occult and you really want to make it your job, like tarot and these kind of things. Uh, but for others, it's time to really do your money management. Maybe you received money from the government or you can request a certain fund that um, will allow you to to do the things that you want to do, okay? Or maybe it is your joint bank account with your partner or in a company that needs some kind of like revision. And uh, you're, for you, obviously, Capricorn is in the seventh house, so a lot of you Cancers have been having extreme ups and downs when it comes to relationships. Uh, we have We are starting off this new moon with mercury retrograde this was stationed direct again on the 3rd of february but for now it's retrograde conjuncting pluto okay so some ugly truths will come to the surface uh this could be in your relationship this could be from an ex coming back this could also be about your past okay some pattern that needs to be faced or recognized within your relationships uh, some of you are single or some of you are in a relationship, but the focus is relationships and transformation. So what is it that you haven't faced yet? What is it that you want to change when it comes to relationships? Okay, when there's Pluto in the seventh house, we tend to give our power away to someone else, right? And in some cases, it can reveal itself as you dominating someone. Okay, but most cases, it is someone else dominating you. Um, I mean, I have Mars in the seventh house and very often I have partners that are quite like energetic and like poking me. So in order to decrease the energy of Pluto, make sure to not give away your power to someone else. Okay. So we have Venus and Mars together. So love can be confused with sexuality and the other way around. Um, but with Saturn in the eighth house, you're also being confronted with your own can you be intimate with someone? Um, is it hard for you to open up? So you will be confronted with these kind of themes, okay? Especially during this new moon. Uh, with Jupiter going in your ninth house, a lot of you may be interested in learning, like I said, astrology, tarot, but the messages coming through, through your own intuition, like Cancers in general is a very intuitive sign, right? Uh, you're very good at reading people and you're great counselors for healing trauma from the past, right? You rule fourth house. So you're really good at going back and looking at patterns. So you might be doing that for yourself or for others. Could become your own job. Some of you are going to take a trip where it is, wherever that is possible. Uh, with Jupiter in your ninth house, um, but be aware, your relationship's going to be bumpy, okay? It's having a lot of confrontation within yourself and within others. And with such intensity, uh, it might lead to a breakup because there's so much... Sometimes uh, it's like you're trapped, 
right? When we have a stellium in a certain sign, it's like, I can't handle it any longer. So if you feel like this and you don't wanna make a rush decision, make sure to have a break until you know better, until Mercury is direct and you have a better overview of what you really want. I mean, luckily Venus retrograde is over. That's the worst. Um, <laughs> that's been also kind of difficult. So there was a lot of, there's a lot of internalization, but um, your intuition is, is on point the upcoming times. It's going to be really good. You're gonna obtain a lot of knowledge um ninth house has to do with different cultures you want to travel you want to meet people you want to learn maybe you want to do a new study maybe you want to become a teacher with jupiter there in the ninth house okay ninth house jupiters are natural teachers so um yeah we have a full moon in leo on the 16th of february um for you this is in your second house okay so this has to do with your money. So again, make sure to uh, look at your money management. Um, I hear don't make too many big investments in something, okay? Read everything really well before you invest all your money. Um, some of you have been going through a divorce and there might be a court case going on or there might be some uh restriction or problems when it comes to other people's money maybe they need to pay you the other person needs to pay you and you've been waiting for that so it's time to organize your money how much are you spending how much are you receiving is it really in in the right balance okay so it's about how much is going out how much is coming in and maybe you might receive unexpected money but how are you dealing with that okay because leo in the second house is very generous so you're a very generous person and you love to treat yourself right like a leo wants to but also it wants to spend it you're the one that offers to pay all the drinks for everyone <laughs> so maybe you know this is the time to not do that then we have pisces by the end of the month uh, the sun is going into pisces uh the sign of merging with the divine there will be a lot you will get a lot of insights so if the sun goes into pisces on the 19th of uh, february please uh take some time and you're gonna learn so much you're gonna get downloads you're gonna get a lot of information on where to go next and what to do and maybe some of you will even do like a spiritual retreat or you're going on a trip and you have a lot of time for contemplation and wise thoughts i have this new deck it's so beautiful and i'm going to give you some more cards cancer to give you some more information okay i'm getting sadness so I feel a big part of you has been in denial and February you're gonna face it okay so don't worry about it it's like we're going through this phase on a global level we need to face some things about ourselves our shadow side that needs to come out um, but this is all for the better with Uranus there in your 11th house like maybe you want to follow some workshops online workshops Oops say what you mean okay say what you mean so maybe you haven't been completely honest with people or with yourself okay and this is leading to sadness so if you are afraid to say someone something to someone and even if this is a friendship or a relationships it, relationships <laughs> um is this person really worth being in your life if you can't be honest and share what you're truly feeling right so make sure to always stay in integrity with yourself be honest um, maybe you're going along with something that is not for you uh, and this is now kind of boiling up i'm gonna get these cards as well oops what is oh whoa, whoa, whoa. okay so yeah i mean i i don't want you to be discouraged because i want you to face it so you can solve it and you can be in the relationship you deserve or maybe you are in a relationship what you deserve but you haven't spoken about the things that you want and maybe your partner is going to be totally fine with it but okay past life issue i'm getting so 
definitely there are struggles, you know. Um, look where your natal south node is, okay? Because the transiting south node is in Scorpio in your fifth house. This has to do with romance as well. But look where's your natal. Because um, there are patterns that keep repeating itself. Uh, may it be relationships, may it be friendships, may it be money, okay? I'm getting indigo. So you... But I feel more of that... You need to rebel against yourself and really break these patterns. Be like, hey, I'm ready to break these patterns. I'm not going to repeat it again, right? Yeah, cancel, clear, delete. There you go. You're going to find the strength to do it. I'm so proud of you, Cancer. That's so, so proud of you. Um, base chakra, you're going to feel more balanced, more grounded. You're going to be spending a lot of time in nature. You're going to feel more freedom than you have in a long time okay uh i feel that you're ready to face it <laughs> you're ready to face you're ready to dive deep and to solve whatever it is that you need to solve and um yeah cancel clear delete i mean i have i i've been giving like each sign like a, a word for the month i feel it for you it's cancel clear delete look at that cancel clear delete i love it you're gonna let go of what no longer serves you, okay? Um, whatever you decide to do in a relationship or in your patterns or whatever it is, don't blame yourself. Don't do it. It's never too late to change, but also, you know, really think through what it is that you really want to say and try to be vulnerable you know with saturn in the eighth house there is this part of you that doesn't want to open up and be intimate so don't ever be afraid that if people really don't understand you on that level are they really meant to be with you okay so that's my message for you my dear cancer i hope this didn't discourage you i think it's a really brave month for you a really a big month of change so if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to share your comments with your fellow cancers this is a community if you want to say some words of courage and tell or share what is going on in your life please do so um yeah that's what i have for you and i wish you an amazing amazing day bye bye